Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me, Nintendo LPRZ Dude. And I'm here with the next episode of my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we appeased the Divine Beast Ball Ruda, teleported back here, and in this episode, we're gonna talk to this statue. And I hope to getting 13 heart containers and the Master Sword later on in this episode. Or. Some episode coming up, uh, hopefully. Ah, so there are some who still pray, pay me homage. You can talk? Don't say. You can hear my voice. Yes. Now that is a surprise. What were you paying for? Long life? Well, like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Ilea. She trapped me in this stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here call me the Horn Statue, and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend of my ways. One would think wrongly. I have only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. But I've said enough. How then? Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. Yeah, this one will always take one heart container, in a sense, but yeah. <laughs> my touch is as subtle as ever. Now, note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Uh, give it back. Alright. Give me a heart. Alright, it will give it back to you for free, only because this is like it's demonstrating its power. So it's like, oh yeah, I can take a life from you. I mean, if you come here and you still have three hearts or whatever because you first upgraded your stamina or you did something else. Anyway, so, um, this isn't really a good way to make rupees, but, um, uh, so we're going to sell two, uh, stamina vessels, actually. It's a hundred rupees to, you know, you'll get a hundred rupees to sell your, um, Essences, but and I didn't mean to do that. Um, have another one, stamina vessel, yes. But it's 120 rupees to purchase some back, so you could actually, if you do this, you could be without some extra stamina for a while. I didn't mean to do that. I I'm just spamming the B button right now, so it's a little annoying. Um, I want one back. Heart container, yes. So it's not a good way to make money in this game because, as you see, it costs 120. So yeah. No. All right. So we, uh, I believe, this should be 13 heart containers, which is the bare minimum for you to have for you to get the master sword. So uh, yeah, there we go. And since, well, our horse is here, and we have to uh, head. I do think it's going to be quicker if we just teleport to the Lineru Tower instead of to some random, you know, instead to a stable that we don't have access to. So, yeah, there is uh, going to be a tower. So we are, um, I mean, I think I'm going to activate it on the way back, actually. So, yeah, because it's not that far. The tower and the great Deku, the great Hyrule Forest or great Deku Forest and Lost Woods aren't exactly far from each other. It's like if you're looking from the top of the tower, you could see it. If you're looking from the uh, lot entrance to Lost Woods, you could see it. It's definitely. Um, so, yeah, let me uh, turn everything back. Let me turn the HUD mode back to pro because, you know, I actually know what I'm doing. Right, let's see. Yeah. This way, they can't. 
head down. Okay, yeah, I should be able to get more so. Yeah, I just don't want to die all that quickly right now. So. There's our horse. It's been a while. Alright, so we're gonna begin making our hidden Lazafos is hidden. Anyways, we're gonna begin making our way down this way. And um avoiding all the enemies we can because we actually wanna make our hightail it. Whoa. Easy does it a Easy does it a little Lily. Lillian. Again, I can't even remember these horses' names. I'll just call her Lily because, you know, Lily is short for Lillian, so, you know, whatever. Alright, you want to pretty much head to that tower over there. But, let's keep going. I don't think we should be running into that building. Yeah, because the ye hold on, stop for here a moment. You see that forest, that tree there? That's the great Deku tree, and that's the tower that's closest to it. I did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, well, I will leave it there. It's not that bad. And no, I, you know, I will be doing as many shrines as I can on screen, but I do want to get the master sword as soon as humanly possible. So. Oh uh, boy. Jesus Christ, these nighttime enemies. I don't mind them that much. It's just they could be annoying. And yes, for a while you will be seeing foreshadowing to the next divine beast. I'm not gonna say its name, but I am gonna say it's up on that volcano. <laughs> So, yeah, you want to go like that, but let's try to get our horse back on the mainland. Only the royal horse had more stamina and more speed. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, I'm not gonna. I'm not really complaining. I mean, it's a fast horse. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm outrunning a lot of enemies, so you know, could be worse. But still. I'll see you guys when I get out of this swamp area. I'm just gonna go to this to the Riverside Stable and do stuff from there. I mean, I made it to the Lost Woods before from here, so I know how to get to it. It's just all this water. Too much water. This is why people hate water levels, Nintendo. <laughs> can barely move quickly. That's why people are like, oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> oh, well, so let's get our horse back. It's really coming down. You know what? I'll do a speed up till I get to the Lost Woods. Not a long oh. speed up, mind you. Put a speed up. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. Yeah. So you want to head this way, then head down, cross this bridge. Keep going this way. So if you head this way, there's going to be like guardians ahoy. But, you know, just keep heading this way. And yeah, 
lots of guardians either way actually so you know what let's just keep on the path this way because it's quicker and I get to show off for a few moments the um, remains of a certain historic landmark It's raining like this the world's gonna flood and this is somewhat why because there are some strong bacoblins on horse back and I'm afraid of that because I'm afraid of my horse I, I didn't even know they could steal your horse and I played this game for like 700 Our horse is probably. That's why you want to keep an eye on your surrounding. Because these guardians actually can see you from a good distance. And if they catch sight of you, they will shoot you. But back to that whole horse stealing business. Like, literally, I was unaware they could actually steal your freaking horse. Like, like I was unaware that if, that if a bacoblin hit you, got you off your horse, could actually hop on top of it and ride it. it, it, it it's amazing the stuff you learn. Even after 700 hours plus of playtime. Yeah. And now it's not raining anymore. Huh. Great. Oh, well. Yeah. Keep heading this way. There are going to be, like, during, depending on the time of day. I mean, it's uh, yeah. 4.20 a.m. So we might see a stalactite. Miss Dalox, um, but I don't think so. I think it means yeah. a uh, personal safe file have actually labeled a lot of the areas with uh, those mini boss like, enemies, so yeah. Alright, let's uh, not go that way. Let's go this way, actually. And you might begin seeing some Guardian Sky Watchers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm such a nerd, and I played this game so much that I actually know the yeah. things for each of the Guardians. Uh, Guardian Skywatchers, yeah. Guardian Scouts, Guardian Turrets. Yeah. Yeah. I think that means I need help. Huh. There's a Skywatcher and there's a Stalker. Yeah. Yeah. Huh, surprised it didn't see us. If it did, it's probably ignoring us. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't know why it would ignore us. We're not exactly weak, huh. and we're just impeding on its protective territory. Huh. Yep, spoke too soon. A guardian huh. did notice us. Come on. Yeah. Wanna get fried? Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if the horses in this game are actually suicidal in a sense. I mean... Yeah. I'm sorry, bitch. And I'm sorry about using that language, but... Seriously, I'm trying to get away from this guardian and uh like annoying. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, I'm taking a shortcut and I'm actually am going to show you guys a little shortcut. Um 
through the lost woods. Yeah. Which should help save you guys a hell of a lot of time, actually. Yeah. And I know I said I'd speed up, but... Well, we're already on. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. There's a tower. We'll be coming back for it because we'll have the master sword at that point. So, yeah. you know, why go through it now when we'll have the master sword? Huh. And actually, I've never cleared any, um, done any of these main beginning parts of the uh, Divine Beasts. Like the entirety of a Divine Beast with the master sword. So I don't know what the uh, NPCs will say. But. Huh. And I'm actually going to go through the Last Woods twice, in a sense. Once with a horse. You know, the second time will be when I have the uh, Master Sword. Because what you want to do is actually ride your horse. And as long as you don't stop. It's all there. Damn it. Anyways, as long as you don't stop and you go in the right direction, it actually will not be able to catch you. As you saw there for a bit, for a few moments, it was unable to catch you. Like, watch. Huh. You know what? It might be easier if I just do it the legitimate way, actually. Do I even have a torch? No, I do not. Huh. Oh, well, you'll get one at some point. The right way to do this, and the way the developers really intended for you to do it, is this way. Alright, so now let's rest up, go this way. As you can see, you know, it's just pretty much the beginning part is follow the uh, lantern the, uh, things, but then at this point you don't see anymore. Yeah, okay. Because you don't see any other lanterns, so, or, uh, lit post. Damn. That was going the right way. No. <laughs> the, the respawn cutscene in it's like, my horse is like, yeah, nope. Ah! I believe it's as simple as really following the sparks. No, I don't want to go too far. Here we go. You made it. And you get a torch. Now the trick to this is to pretty much follow it and I'm surprised no one's really done this. Going, altering the camera. Just putting the camera above Link. Okay. What I want to do is go up this way. Keep going. You want to stop every so often. Okay, it's still going this way. every so often it will change direction like it is right now so you don't want to go too far another way you could if you're good at noticing these things is just watch the air particles You know, just look at those uh, white particle layer. Those little balls of uh, dust, I guess they would be.
we're getting close. I mean, I because I'm, uh, I'm doing it top down. So, you know. So in interesting doing it this way, though. You know, I don't see many people doing it this way on YouTube. A lot of people would just be like, oh, just stop and watch it. Like, they would have their camera set like that and just watching the planes. But I'm just like, top down, like this. Just put it down like that. Just make sure. Okay, yeah, this way. Same direction. A lot of these animals here are here to pretty much distract you and to try to put out your uh, land, your uh, torch. That's why there's like that deer there and whatnot. Because if you ride it thinking, oh, well, I'll just ride it and I'll have my torch lit, a Link will actually put out the torch. So. And I apologize if, for like the lackluster commentary. We're getting close, okay. But I ha I really have to focus on this. And we're pretty much in the clear. So I can close that now. Because at this point, it's just really watching the uh, air particles. You know, it's like a straight path because they wouldn't expect you to. Climb up the mountains, it'll actually spawn you. Little thing there. It's one of the parts in the game where there's a certain path to going and whatnot. So, yeah, here we go. Here we are. Um, I think it's like the Korok Woods or Great Hyrule or something like that. Anyways, we're going to be getting cutscene soon. So, I'll be quiet. Yeah, Korok Forest, here we go. Doze off again. Hmm. Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. Ha, 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 ha. 
best of luck, young one. This, the sword cares not for your physical might. It is moved by what lies within. It cuts through bravado and superficial enhancements. Only true strength can draw it from its resting place. The only way to know if you have what it takes is to try. All right, let's pull. And let's go. Coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. We got it. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? a sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then. Words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. What you just saw happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I will do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. All right, we received the Master Sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its blade gleams with a sacred luster that, that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero, 
Uh, only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. Mm. That blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon or those tainted by malice, it will become suffused with holy light. At such times, the true power of the sword will manifest. But be warned, do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. It would be rash to rely on this sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free the Divine Beasts before facing him. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, here we go. Here's the Master Sword. If you try to throw it, you actually do a beam attack, a ranged attack with it, which is actually quite nice. It's not that strong, but it's, uh, it's a fun weapon. It's a fine weapon. So, uh, I guess that'll do it for this episode. So, in the next episode, we are actually not going to clear that tower. We're actually going to be getting a few more, uh, a few spirit orbs. Do we even have any? So we, we will be getting like three spirit orbs um, from different shrines here. They're all going to be blessings, but they're all going to be surrounded by shrine quests as well. So yeah, there we go. So we'll do that. And also, um, is he even here? Did we beat um, Hestu here? No, we actually beat Hestu. Because normally he'd be like right here, so we... We beat as to the great, to the uh, Deku Forest, lol. Anyways, so yeah, that'll do it for this episode. I hope to see you guys next time. This has been Nintendo LPRZ Dude. Like, comment, subscribe, pledge to me on Patreon. Every pledge helps support the channel and helps me uh, get better equipment. Uh, and what nine helps me survive, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.